What's up guys, Shavon here back with a new video and today I'll be showing you my favorite new features in iOS 10. And here we have a lovely iOS 10. So guys stay tuned to the end of this video to find out more. So first up on the list guys we have this new breadcrumb redesign. So as you can see we still have the signal bar. And also we still have the breadcrumb so it doesn't hide the signal bar which is very convenient. Secondly, control panel now has two pages. So if you swipe across to the left on your screen, we have the music player widget. And also if you swipe back across, we have all of the toggles that we need to play around with. Such as night shift mode. Everything there is in one place and I really like that because it's kind of new. Another cool feature is that the control panel now has colorful toggles on the top shelf. So just like the tweak cream. So also the folders now has this blur effect. So if you tap the folder you can see it blurs out the background which looks really subtle and more intuitive. So you guys know that yeah. It just looks really cool to me. And now in the messages app if you send a friend a message you can hold down on the image. And it gives some little stickers that you can see your friend would see in live, in live action I should say. Another cool feature is that you can enable read receipts for individual contacts so if you want that person to know that you read the message you can send that so you don't have a um, system wide feature you can use it for individual contacts only if you want to be on the low low i don't know if you guys will hear this but the typing in ios 10 the keyboard sounds really subtle It really sounds it really sounds different you should definitely try and listen to it <laughs> if you jump into the clock application we realize that we have like a night mode feature that is really good onto the eyes and they added a little bedtime thing so you'd set the time that you want to go to bed and it suggests the best time for you to wake up so as you can see my bedtime is 1 a.m. and it said that I should wake up 9 10 so it builds your alarm depending on the time that you set to go to sleep which is really cool but you can also adjust it to your likings as well so there's a lot of many changes in the photo in the photos application that apple didn't really tell you about so if you go into a picture there's a new detail button on, on the top right i don't know if you guys can see it but it's there so if you hit that detail button you realize that you have a new edited function relocated to the bottom which is cool and also we have a new editing modes so if you go in here you'll find brilliance so that brilliance tab maybe makes your picture look more brilliant <laughs> i'm not sure but apple threw that inside also it shows the different locations on a picture and where you took the picture so if you took the picture in kingston you'll find people tab which it senses uh, everybody's faces and categorize it inside of there so it also creates a movie for you so you can just hit the play button okay enough of that you can also mark up on photos so just hit, hit that settings button down here hit that and get markup so just touch the markup and now you don't have to download any third party applications you can just choose your color and start getting creative show tutorials anything you want to do here and also you can subscribe from here so just click the subscribe button down below so this is bas basically markup you have the magnifying glass all of that stuff another cool feature i found that if you type in somebody's name and the number is not saved apple will suggest the name so if you typed hey sean it will suggest sean up at the top right there also the camera app got a little bit re revamped so the reverse shutter is now at the bottom shelf instead of the top shelf because nobody really used the filter button so it's instead of you guys trying to stretch your hand up there you can just simply tap on the bottom right and you'll have the camera flip switch so it's more convenient now if you're playing music you can take pictures while the music app is running i'm not sure if you guys could do that on ios 9 but i think not i think if you try to take pictures while music playing it wouldn't work 
but also in music settings there's a new option to optimize music storage so for example if you turn that on and you're not playing songs regularly it just deletes it so if you don't really play that song for like in two months or so it just deletes that song you wouldn't even realize you can easily clear all notifications at once with 3d touch so instead of going through one by one to clear all notifications you can just hold down on that button and it will dismiss it but i don't have the iphone 6s i only have an iphone 6 so it's a good touch from apple you guys should definitely try it out just hold down on the x button and it will clear all notifications we now have inline video so if you're playing a video in the like a mobile website instead of the youtube app you can just hit that arrow right there at the bottom right or you can just come out of it and it won't stop the music previously if you tried that on ios 9 it won't play and if you lock your device and open it again it will just start playing from the same spot which is really cool it won't stop playing so that's really nice since I locked my device while ago, I forgot to tell you guys there's no more slide to unlock. You'd have to press the home button. You can't slide to unlock anymore. If you slide over here, it shows you the widget page. And if you swipe to your left or right, whatever, you get to, to the camera applications. So um, in order to unlock your device, you'd need to hold down and touch the home button. And your device unlocks. You can't swipe to unlock again, but... I know you guys might miss it but it's not there anymore there's no more games in the app which I think was a waste of space on the home screen if you go into the settings application and go into game center you'll find the game center settings which is really cool mail has gotten an update it's got smarter it now tells you when you're on a mailing list so if you get like annoying messages you can just unsubscribe button right there which is really really cool so boom no more messages from them another cool thing is that you can remove system applications meaning that you can delete any application or most of the applications that apple throws onto your device so like if you don't use podcast you can just delete that if you don't use the calculator you can delete that because there's a lot of third-party applications that you can go in the app store and find it but but if you want to get that you can go back into the app store and type in podcast and it throws it back onto your device my favorite features would be the iMessage goodies that Apple throw in here. So for example, you can do a bunch of things. If you hold on to the arrow, you can send with invisible ink, send with gentle, send with load, and also send with a slam. So that's really cool. If you send with invisible ink, the, the recipient would need to swipe over your message to see the message that they sent. And I really think that's interesting. It could cause a lot of chaos. It's definitely cool so guys if you like this video definitely drop a like down below and check up in the top right hand corner to check out my previous jailbreak videos and i hope you guys like this video subscribe like comment share i'm almost at 2k so you know what i love to say love tweak and peace